Wildcat Wind Farm is already up and running on the east side of Tipton County. On the other side of the county, this field could soon have turbines in it too. Um, it's planned to be a 150 megawatt wind power project with about 94 turbines in Tipton County. Michael Rucker is the CEO of UV Wind North America. Rucker says the Prairie Breeze Wind Farm has been planned for Tipton County since 2009, but now there is strong opposition. It, it is dividing our county, and I think it will divide our county for uh, years to come if they do come to our, our county. The Tipton County Citizens for Responsible Development is the group fighting against the wind farm. Emily West sits on the group's executive board. She says that the group wants the turbines farther away from property lines. What our group would like to do is, is basically make it a safe place to live by increasing the setbacks. One of the reasons against another wind farm going in in Tipton County is the noise that those turbines make. But they're no louder than a blender. Richard Nash signed a contract with UV Wind in 2009 so that they could use his land. And what helped the county out in tax base and also helped the school systems out in some extra money through the tax base that they'd give directly to schools. It kind of looked like it was a win-win situation to everybody concerned. UV Wind says Tri-Central Community Schools would get more than $14 million over 25 years if the project moves forward. Many Tipton County officials are also set to lease their property to the project, including County Councilwoman Madonna Alderson, Tipton County Planning Board member Mark Beard, and the Board of Zoning Appeals member Bill Peters. In Tipton County, Cody Butler, NewsLink, Indiana.